So today we're going to go over a little quick fix video. This is one of the common problems with the stock X ends on a Replicator 2 or 2X where the X stop switch cable actually snaps from overextending and flexing with cable that's not really made to do this kind of bending and flexing. And you end up breaking a connection in here. There's a lot of different people that have a lot of different fixes out there. Some people hang the cables all the way down. Uh, some people channel them a different way. Um, I, I don't have the stock ends on anymore. I used to have this thingiverse part, which was like a, a temp fix, which would support the cables and keep the cables up from overextending. It was a, actually a printed part off a of thingiverse that fit right where that metal cotter pin used to go that would actually try to keep these wires in place, which was laughable because uh, the cotter pin would eventually fall out anyway. So I'm looking to come up with a different fix here because we need to come up with a nicer cable that still gives this nice clean look to my printer and at the same time has a much better cable and something that I can route with uh, with Carl's aluminum X ends here that I installed. The solution so far, or my idea and where I'm shooting this video is Adafruit silicone wire part number 1437. And I've already checked the length of this cable. And this is actually a silicone flexible 24 gauge designed for bending. Designed for multiple flexing through the motions over and over again. Uh, it's a four wire cable. It's a very nice, very long cable with that. And it should be enough to actually do the stepper motor cable and, and the uh, end stop cable. And actually I think I'll be extending probably about two inches more than what the stock cables actually have already. So I should have plenty to do it. The reason I didn't do this with the stock X ends is because of the way the cable is designed and the silicone coating on it for the flexibility and everything. It's actually thicker. I wasn't able to remove the cotter pin and remove the stock cables and actually fit two layers where that cotter pin was in there. It, it just wouldn't fit. So I, I decided to hold off until I put Carl's X ends on here, which I have now. And it's probably going to be a, more of a wire tie solution until I can print a piece or design a piece to hold it. But it shouldn't matter because the cable's meant to bend and flex and it's designed to handle this type of motion repetitively. So we should be good. I'm probably either going to take my current cables, misplace the current plugs off of them as a test trial, and just solder this cable and be in between the plugs. Uh, I think Adafruit sells this cable for ten dollars if I'm not mistaken. Again that's uh, let me get that part number for you. I'll put it down in the link in the description. It's part 1437. You can get it on adafruit.com. It's A-D-A-F-R-U-I-T dot com. And I'll come back after I get all the soldering redone. Alright so we got the one plug done here. Let me show you real quick. Use the existing wires. Uh, I left a little extra wire here because this is going to bend around the bottom of the stepper motor here. And on the other side, got everything tashed up nice and clean. And this is the replacement for the stepper, the X stepper. I'm going to just wire tie that in and then we'll go work on the other one. So I probably could have made it a little shorter, but you know what, a little extra is not bad. These plugs were up in the channel and Carl's aluminum X ends occasionally hit the plugs if the wire tie didn't have these just right. So now my plugs are going to be down on the side here. They'll be out of the way and this cable is meant to flex. It's also made out of silicone. It will take the heat and it will take the constant repetitive flexing and bending. Shouldn't have an issue. And the piece of cable that does have the issue, this thin black stuff that MakerBot gives you, this is not in a flex spot. This will not move. This is going. This wire tied in. It's not going to move. It's just plugged into the stepper motor. Done. That will never move or bend. This is the only part you have to worry about. But I left myself enough room that if I had to pull the stepper motor out for whatever reason, I should be able to pull this plug down and still move the stepper motor if I need to 
Uh, this cable, you know, I left a little bit of length on here so I can bend and tuck it in under here. This one also, I did the same thing. There's about probably a good four inches of the stock cable here before I spliced in the Adafruit cable. And the reason being is so I can actually bend it around and plug it into to my switch real easy, like so, and keep it out of the way. So, uh, if you're going to splice it, remember to uh, not go directly to the plug. Leave a little bit of the stock wire off the plug. It's not a big deal since most likely, even if you're replacing a broken cable, your broken cable probably snapped in this area where it was flexing all the time and these parts of the cable are probably fine. But if you are using a broken cable, cut the plugs off the broken cable and be sure to check it with a conductivity meter first to make sure that the, the cable that you are splicing or splicing to is actually good. And if you have no issues in there and you still have good connection between all four wires, then splice the Adafruit in there and then once you're done, don't worry about it again. Okay, so here we have the finishing product. We have the stock cables spliced in with the Adafruit cable, all wired up. The cable that's met, meant to flex and bend and take the heat made out of silicone as well. Shouldn't have an issue over time. And well, I guess only time will actually tell. Over here I have on the other side, of course, the other ends all wired up. I have it already partially tucked in the back, so so it's not gonna get caught on anything. Yeah, I already got clipped in. Never mind. I was gonna pull it out and show you the other ends too, but oh, just the other ends. And then we have the stock ends that run to the mighty board, so I'll go ahead and plug those in together. Tuck those in the corner joint as well, put the side panels on, and take it for some test prints. So now that I got about 60 hours of runtime, actually probably closer to 70 hours of runtime on the printer. I uh, want to do a quick update on this real quick. Uh, the printer's been working great. I, I did away with the wire ties. We had a wire tie solution in there. And we got rid of the wire tie solution. And we went with a thingiverse part that somebody had designed specifically for Carl's Aluminum XN. So if you're running Carl's Aluminum XN, this is actually a really good part. But you can see this particular part literally hides, keeps the cable high enough, you really don't see it. It's a nice clean look. I, I do like the way it looks. But we'll go ahead and take the side panel off and show you real quick. Put that on. So this part actually attaches right to Carl's Aluminum XN with some standard M3, I think I put like 6mm length bolts, M3's in there, and it bolts in fine. It has an attachment to hold, both cables actually are here. So you can actually see I have both cables in this track. It's wide enough once you print it to hold both cables. Seems to be doing a really good job. Working really nicely. So, well, thanks for watching. I hope somebody found this tip useful and maybe somebody else decides to sit down and actually do the work or buy an Adafruit cable and replace their cable too. Maybe they wanted to keep their unit looking clean as well. Uh, and this was the best solution for him. Like I said, my cable did not fail, but reputation and history shows that the cable will fail eventually. So why not fix it now before I start printing seriously and uh, I'm relying on certain finances to actually be done and goals and timelines to be met. Uh, why not make, make the printer what it should be up front before you have to rely on it? And that's exactly why I did this now and didn't wait didn't wait for it to fail. So thanks for watching.